everyone, it's Megan from Kenhub here, and welcome to our tutorial about the endocrine system. The first thing we need to do is define the endocrine system. So what exactly is the endocrine system, and what does it do? Well, a system, as you might already know, is a group of organs that work together in your body. And the endocrine system is a system of the body that's made up of endocrine glands. Basically, endocrine glands are glands that function to release their secretory products or hormones directly into the bloodstream rather than via a duct, as is the case with exocrine glands. These diagrams here of the male and female body will feature throughout this tutorial, where we can see the body from the front with the endocrine system drawn over the external surface. We'll use these illustrations as we work through the components of the endocrine system, starting from the top and working our way downwards. So first we'll discuss the pineal gland, which is this tiny structure you can see just here. Then we'll talk about the hypothalamus, which is unfortunately not visible in this image, but don't worry because we'll see it later on in the tutorial. Just below the pineal gland, we can see the pituitary gland here. Then in the neck region, we have the thyroid gland here. Next, we'll talk about this gland here, which is called the thymus, followed by the suprarenal glands, which we can see just above the kidneys. We'll then talk about the pancreas, which we can see here. And finally, we'll move on to the aspect of the endocrine system that varies between females and males, the ovaries and the testes. We can see these structures in the pelvic region here and here. Keep in mind that although the endocrine glands secrete the hormones they produce into the bloodstream, the thyroid gland stores its hormone extracellularly as an inactive precursor molecule. So now that I've given you a quick overview of what we're going to talk about today, let's get started. As I said, we'll begin this tutorial with the pineal gland, which is also known as the epiphysis cerebri. The pineal gland is located deep within the brain in the posterior cranial fossa. This small pinecone shaped gland plays a very significant role in the human sleep wake cycle. Our sleep wake cycle usually mimics the rhythm of light and darkness. This means that when it's dark out, we feel sleepy, as opposed to when it's light out, where we are more awake or alert. Now the pineal gland, seen here from a mid-sagittal section of the brain, releases a hormone that alters the state of wakefulness and sleep. Although it's a really tiny structure, this gland releases a hormone called melatonin and regulates the circadian rhythm. The circadian rhythm is just a fancier clinical way of saying the sleep-wake cycle. Another structure we can see in the illustration of the mid-sagittal section of the brain is the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is an area of the brain that consists of a number of small nuclei, and we can see it here highlighted in green. It's at the centre of a variety of physiological processes, including thermoregulation, osmoregulation, and hormonal regulation, which is relevant to the endocrine system. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full length video and master anatomy.